Want this smooth 4K quality for your edits to go viral on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram? There is a new and cheap method for this type of quality, so let's see the preview. Hi guys, today I will show you how to make a 4K CC and also get this quality using After Effects and Video Pro Converter AI. Now the most important thing is that you have a good quality scene packs to get this type of quality. So please try to get 4K scene packs for your edits, not 480p or 360p. Now if you want exact my settings for the best quality CC, make sure to check out first link in the description. There are three steps to get this quality. First one is that we will make a raw edit on After Effects with zooms and twixters. Second one is that we will enhance our edit with the cheapest software named by Video Pro Converter and make it beautiful. And our third and last step is that we will make a 4K quality CC for edit inside After Effects again. So without wasting any time, let's go to the first step. So first ready with your clips and add twixters and zooms to your clips. After that, select your clips and pre-compose it. After that, make an adjustment layer and add sharpen and unsharpen mask from the search panel as I am doing. Now copy my settings. Export your video with MP4 format using vocoder. Wait for rendering. Now our first step is done, let's go to the step 2. Now we have to enhance our edit to look beautiful so first download this software named by Video Pro Converter from description. Open the software and add your edit for enhancing. Now copy my settings as well. As you can see the difference. Now click on run and wait for the processing. Let's talk about this software. This software have some advantages and disadvantages, so let's talk about advantages first. It has AI powered video enhancement feature automatically improves video quality, making it clearer and more visually appealing without manual adjustments like Topaz. And the main advantage is that it has more features than Topaz like it can increase FPS of your edit, you can download any video with it and many more. If you have fast GPU acceleration then Video Pro Converter AI ensures swift video conversion, saving users time. While Video Pro Converter AI offers several disadvantages, the main disadvantage is that if you have not a good GPU then it will enhance very slowly. It's not much good as compared to the Topaz Video Enhance because in Topaz, there are many options for custom enhancing according to your choice. But according to price, Topaz is more expensive than Video Pro Converter, so it's very good and cheap. Almost done. Let's see the final enhanced results. 
As you can see, it's looking very well. Let's make a 4K CC for the edit. To do that, first import your enhanced edit and drag it to your timeline. As you can see the difference between raw and enhanced one. The plugins you need for this CC is Sapphire, BCC, and Magic Bullet Looks. Now we have to add some effects on the adjustment layer. To make it you can press Ctrl plus Alt plus Y on your keyboard as a shortcut. After that search for S sharpen and add to your adjustment layer. Now copy my settings. After that search for BCC Unsharp Mask and add to your adjustment layer. Copy my settings. Then you have to add S Glow and copy my settings. After that search for hue and saturation. Add it and put the amount 10. Now search for looks and add it to your adjustment layer. Press Ctrl plus D and duplicate it three times. Now click on the first look. Add hue and saturation and copy my settings. After that, go to camera and add film negative and do what I do. Now go to subject and add spot exposure and copy me. Now add shadow and highlights and copy my settings as well. Our first look is done, let's go to the looks too. Click on the second look. Go to post and add mojo. Set the value of strength to 20. After that go to matte and add color filter. Change the color to white. Increase the exposure compensation to 0 0.10. Now add exposure. Decrease the value to minus 0 0.20. Our second look is also done. Let's go to the last look. 
click on edit of your last looks. After that, go to Matt and add Diffusion. Now follow my settings. After adding Diffusion, go to Camera and add two Strip Process and copy my settings for the best CC. Now go to Lens and add Haze Flare. Copy my settings for a beautiful 4K CC. Copy my tint color settings. And it's ready for your edits. If you see a lot of glow on your clip, don't worry I have a solution. I am just showing you how to do it, but you have to cut the adjustment layer according to the clip where you want to decrease the glow. Add brightness and contract and add it to your adjustment layer. Decrease the brightness according to your choice. Pre-compose your layers and export your edit with VooCoder as I am doing. 